peace and light, my brothers and sisters in Christ, my non-believers, and anyone else in between. Today, I want to talk about jealousy. Now come in. Okay. Yeah. What is jealousy? Well, let me give you the definition. Jealousy is a state of being jealous, and jealous is feeling or showing envy of someone of their advantages and achievements. Let me give you some scriptures that kind of talk about jealousy and, and envy and why we should be cautious to let them in our hearts. So 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 says, For you are still carnal, for where there are envy, strife, and division among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? Another one in Corinthians. Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But what the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. We all may feel jealousy in times, at times in our life. Like jealousy of all what someone else may have, jealousy of how someone else may look, you know. When you start comparing yourself to somebody else, you're gonna feel a little jealousy if you feel like they have something that you want and that you don't have yet, whether it's because you haven't worked for it or it's just not the time for it right now. Um, let's keep going with some more verses. Corinthians, we got another one. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse four. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. If you see someone that has something you want or you're working towards it, instead of feeling envy or jealous towards that person, congratulate them. Whether it's in your mind, you're doing it out loud, like don't allow jealousy to take its place in your heart, you know what I mean? Have I felt jealousy? Of course. How you allow your mind to maintain on that. You start letting your mind dwell in that and start letting the seed of jealousy plant inside you. That's when it can take a dangerous route inside your mind, inside your heart. And you start getting envious and you start plotting your head like, he doesn't really deserve that. She doesn't really deserve that. I do. Uh, let's go take it from them. Because of jealousy or envy or hatred or whatever um, feeling you're allowing inside. Kind of reminds me of Cain and Abel. Um, so Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she con conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat, and the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering, and Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door, and it's desirous for you, but you shall rule over it. Now Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Cain allowed jealousy. He allowed his zealous feelings to get the better of him. He was envious. He was jealous at the offering that his brother gave to the Lord. He said, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. So in that moment, when you feel jealousy, you know, just take take it to the Lord. Talk to him about it. Be like, oh, Lord, start focusing on what you want for your life. And not worrying so much about what other people have and what they're going for. And if you are worrying about what they're doing, let it be motivation for you. Let it be determination for you. You know what I mean? Like, let it be something that sparks your path to go for what you want. Not to stop calling against people, not to let jealousy build up inside you. Man, we all feel these emotions. It's just about how you deal with them. Like, this is your path, this is 
This is your mission in life, your journey. Don't compare it to anybody else. So Book of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. A sound heart is life to the body, but envy is running to the bones. So a sound heart, you know what I mean? Being of love, being of wisdom, you know what I mean? That's life to the body. Congratulating someone, speaking life upon their past. But envy is rottenness to the bones. When you start having that envy grow inside you, like, nah, he could, they shouldn't have that. Or no, I want that. Like when you start going in that mind frame, especially when you start letting it accumulate in your mind, Minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, that's when it becomes rotten and it starts to eat at you from the inside out. James chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. That's deep right there. Sometimes you don't have what you want because you haven't even asked for it. You haven't spoken to your commander in chief about it. You haven't taken your game plan to him. You know what I mean? He knows what you want. He knows the desires of your heart. But take your game plan, take what you want, put on a piece of paper, or just spend some time in prayer with the Lord. And sometimes you don't have what you're asking for because the main reason you want is for selfish reasons. It's not to better the kingdom of God. Right here, Psalm chapter 37, verses 1 to 3. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. A lot of times we may see people in power and we know the way they got there was by doing some dirty work, you know what I mean? Being workers of iniquity. But when you see those people and they're serving the God of this world, they're doing the evil, don't, look at what the Lord said, do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For their time will come they're reaping all the little benefits right now, but the Lord watches over his. So don't worry about how people got what they got. Focus on you, focus on your mission. You know, the main point of this is I want to touch on jealousy and what it is. We know what jealousy is, obviously. But I kind of want to dig in a little deep, kind of get your mind aware. So when you start feeling that little bit, you're like, oh, this is all right. I shouldn't be planting the seed in my heart. I shouldn't be planting the seed in my mind. And then ask the Lord for forgiveness. Repent of it. You know what I mean? Repent of the jealousy you may be feeling. And then start to congratulate. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this moment. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. And I pray that these words will not fall upon deaf ears, Lord, but that they will reach many, Lord. And that will help guide them to the righteous path, Lord. That if someone feels like they're inadequate, Lord, and they don't have what they need to go for, Lord, that you remind them that they are enough inside you, Jesus. May you guide their path, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.